boys and girls, and welcome to Thursday's edition of the Alpha Den with Mrs. Michaels. You know, I'm so happy to be here today. Before I begin my story, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about growth mindset and what does that mean and what does it mean to you? So when we think about growth mindset, we think about what do we do when we come upon challenging or difficult situations? When sometimes we just feel like we can't do this or we're not good at something, what happens? Think about the story last week, the Gritty Ninja, and think about what Gritty Ninja learned how to do and the strategies that helped Gritty Ninja. Well, I'm gonna read a story to you today called The Dot, and The Dot is about a little girl named Vashti who struggles with an art assignment. And I want you to really pay attention to what she does and how she ends up persevering through this story and becoming very successful at the end. And hopefully she will be able to help you with things when they get difficult or challenging for you. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and start the story. The Dot by Peter Reynolds. Art class was over, but Vashti sat glued to her chair her paper was empty. Vashti's teacher leaned over the blank paper. Ah, a polar bear in a snowstorm, she said. Very funny, said Vashti. I just can't draw. Her teacher smiled. Just make a mark and see where it takes you. Vashti grabbed a marker and gave the paper a good, strong jab. There. The teacher picked up the paper and studied it carefully. Hmm. She pushed the paper toward Vashti and quietly said, now sign it. Vashti thought for a moment. Well, maybe I can't draw, but I can sign my name. The next week, when Vashti walked into art class, she was surprised to see what was hanging above her teacher's desk. It was the littlest dot she had drawn. Her dot, all framed in swirly gold. I can make a better dot than that. She opened her never before used set of watercolors and set to work. Vashti painted and painted a red dot, a purple dot, a yellow dot, a blue dot. The blue mixed with the yellow. She discovered that she could make a green dot. Vashti kept experimenting Lots of little dots in many colors. If I can make little dots, I can make big dots too. Vashti splashed her colors with a bigger brush on bigger paper to make bigger dots. Vashti even made a dot by not painting a dot. At the school art show a few weeks later, Vashti's many dots made quite a splash. Vashti noticed a little boy gazing up at her. You're a really great artist. I wish I could draw, he said. I bet you can, said Vashti. Me? No, not me. I can't draw a straight line with a ruler. Vashti smiled. She handed the boy a blank sheet of paper. Show me. The boy's pencil shook as he drew his line. Vashti stared at the boy's squiggle. And then she said, Please 
sign it. So boys and girls, what do you think happened next? What do you think happened after that little boy signed the paper with his straight line? Hmm, Vashti really learned that even when we think sometimes we can't, maybe that means we just can't yet. But if we try and we really think about it and we get creative, we can really create and do something. So I'm gonna challenge you, boys and girls. I am going to challenge you to make your mark. Now, Vashi's mark was with a dot. Um, the little boy in the story, his mark will more than likely be with a line. What will your mark be? I would like for you to take a blank piece of paper and I want you to make your mark. Maybe your mark is with a dot. Maybe your mark is with a straight line. Maybe your mark is with a squiggly line. So think about that. And after you make your mark, I want you to be able to share those with me. So either post them on Seesaw or save them for our Zoom next week and you'll be able to show them to me and everybody else from our class who's on Zoom and we can see how creative you can be by making your mark. All right, boys and girls, you have a great day today and a fantastic weekend and we will see you back again next week. Bye.